What's up guys? I'm Steve with Music That Moves and today we are doing cleaning maintenance on our AC units. So we've been full time for a little over a year now and we haven't, I have not done this yet. So this is something you should do probably minimum if you're full time once a year, maybe even twice a year, depending the climate you're in. If it's real dusty, you're probably going to want to do it twice a year. Uh, if it's, you know, you're in, in a nice paved area or it's not real dusty, you probably get away with once a year. If you're a weekender, you probably get away with once a year, maybe once every other year. Um, but you definitely want to do it because the more dirt that builds up on the fins of the condenser and the evaporator, your AC is not going to cool as well. Plus, like this one for sure, it's in the kids' room. We're getting kind of a musty smell, so hopefully this will take care of it. So as I'm editing this video, I realized I missed an important step in the process. First, before you begin anything, you want to make sure that your AC units are at least turned off. You don't want to be up there messing around with your AC and it kicks on. So it's also a good idea just to be safe, just disconnect power to the whole AC unit. Whether you just disconnect power from your whole RV or in our unit we have three ACs and each AC has its own breaker. So you can just shut off each breaker for each AC. I'm not a professional. This is the first time I've done this. So take my advice for what it's worth. Make sure you do your own research for your safety. Back to the video. So to start off with, I mean, obviously you wanna be safe. You're getting up on the roof. Make sure when you get up here that your feet are clean. They don't have rocks on them, stuff like that. All RVs are different. Some RV roofs you can walk on. Some are not designed to be walked on. As a general rule, I would say if you have a ladder that leads to your roof, pretty good bet that it's safe to walk on your roof so make sure you check your manual to make sure that it's okay to walk on your roof before you get up here so the products I'm using to clean RACs uh, this one is what I'm going to use on the condenser I got this at Home Depot uh, I think it was like five bucks something like that I got uh, three cans total we have three AC units on our RV so I got one can for each AC unit. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna use this on the condenser. And this one I got off of Amazon. Uh, they couldn't they couldn't get the brand that I was looking for here in time for us to leave next week. So I got this, it's basically the same thing. You wanna make sure you're using a non-toxic chemical to clean the evaporator because that the air you breathe, the air that goes into the RV is coming right across the fins on the evaporator. So you wanna make sure you get something that's non-toxic. Both of these are no rinse, so technically you don't have to rinse them off after, you, after you're done spraying the, the fins. You can just leave it on there and as you run your ACs, the condensation will rinse it off. I'm gonna rinse it off anyway. So to rinse the fins off when I'm done, I use a mixture of Dawn dish soap and water. I mean, it doesn't take much dish soap to, I mean, maybe a tablespoon, I don't know. I didn't measure, I just poured a little bit in, but just a little bit of Dawn dish soap and some water and just spray the fins when you're done and you should be good. 
I'm also gonna spray our roof off when I'm done just because I don't want this chemical sitting on our rubber roof. I don't know that it would do anything, but just in case, I'd rather not do any damage to our roof. So I'm gonna rinse the roof off when we're done as well. So let's go. The unit our RV comes with is a Dometic. It's kind of like the Brisk Air 2, basically the same things. Our RV has a, what they call an Omni Chill, so I can run all three ACs at the same time. So this is a little bit different than the Brisk Air, but it's gonna look basically the same. And so there are other units that are a little bit different than this. The ideal will be the same as far as cleaning. You may just have to take off, some of them have like a, a sheet metal cover on the evaporator that you just have to take some screws out to get to but this one's pretty easy luckily. So to start off, this unit has a screw here, a screw here, and then two in the front. So I'm just gonna remove those to begin with. Another thing you wanna have is some kind of container to put these screws in. Cause you don't wanna be, you don't wanna set them on the floor and you're walking along and step on one and put a hole in your roof. So make sure you have a container to put them in. Also, that makes it to where you don't lose them. So make sure you put them in some kind of container just to prevent any damage to your roof or losing them. So ours just, our cover just pops off like that. And this is our condenser. As you can see, our condenser isn't too bad. We do have a couple fins that are a little bit bent. I'm gonna try to straighten those up if you can. And to straighten the fins out, I got this, I don't know if there, I'm sure there's some kind of technical name for it, but I'm gonna call it a fin comb. <laughs> but it was like eight bucks, I think, on, at Home Depot. You can also get them on Amazon. They come in like a variety pack you can use depending how big the fins are on your unit that you're trying to straighten the fins on. But this one, as you can see, they kind of just spread out and like form to the fins. So I don't know, it seemed to work on the other one. So Home Depot. So all I'm gonna do to straighten these out, is just trying to make it to where you can see. Just move it straight up. Just straighten those fins out. I don't wanna push too hard. You might do more damage than good if you push too hard. Doesn't take much to bend these fins. So just trying to make, I mean, mine aren't too bad. Like this one. Let's see if we can straighten those out. The straighter they are, the better. That way you get the most airflow, as you can see. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than it was. About these down here. I said you're probably not going to get them perfect but as long as they're straighter than they were these up here that's probably just from the factory so we'll just go through and straighten any obviously you want to go straight up with it you don't want to be going across because then you're really going to bend them so once you have your fins straightened out, I'm going to use this cleaner, as I said. This one doesn't say where to start, whether you start from the top or the bottom, but the other one says to start from the bottom, so I'm just gonna do that with this one. And they also both say to shake, shake well, so. And also, if it gets to where you're spraying it and it's not real foamy, it says to shake it some more, so. I'm gonna start at the bottom and just thoroughly saturate it. And as, it ex as the foam expands, it pulls that dirt out of there. So while that's soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and do the evaporator, which on our unit is underneath this cover right here. So on my unit, the evaporator is underneath this foam cover. Depending what model you have or what brand of AC unit you have, you may have like a sheet metal uh, like enclosure here that has some screws and some foil tape 
you have to take off but it's basically the same thing mine's just a little easier luckily for me to remove so on these Dometic brisk air units you just lift this up comes right off of there so as you can see on my unit <laughs> My condenser coil wasn't too bad, but my evaporator on all three of my units have been pretty nasty. So it was definitely time to do it. So this is the evaporator, and you'll want to make sure you grab some rags and stuff down in this area right here, because down there leads straight to the inside of your RV. So you definitely want to cover that with wood or rags. Just stuff them down in there so you don't get any water or cleaner in there. But as you can see, our evaporator is pretty nasty. So this wire right here is just a temperature sensor. You can just go ahead and pull that out. It's just to make sure that your evaporator doesn't freeze up with your AC running. So I got the rag down in the hole. This says to start at the bottom of the evaporator. So that's what I'm gonna do. Make sure you shake it too. And just saturate it just like the condenser just make sure you fully saturate it so it expands in those fins and removes all of that dirt also you want to avoid spraying it on any electronic components or anything like that just spray it directly on the condenser and the evaporator and you're good i spray it on both sides just to that you probably don't have to but I am just to make sure we get it completely down in those fins. Now I'm gonna let it sit for, I don't know, five minutes or so. And on the other ones, I just reapplied it again, just sprayed it on it again, and it seemed to pull even more dirt out. So I think technically at this point, you can, I mean, you know, obviously once it kind of, the foam like kind of turns back to a liquid, you can, I mean, technically you can just leave it at this point, but I'm going to reapply it. And then, like I said, I'm going to spray that uh, Dawn dish soap water mixture to kind of rinse it off. So let it sit for five minutes and come back. At this point, it's been sitting on the evaporator for about five minutes. As you can see, the bubbles have all kind of, the foam's kind of broken down or whatever. So like I said, you don't have to do this part, but on our other two AC units, I just reapplied it and it seemed to pull that dirt out a lot more. So just do it again. So the cleaning solution has been sitting on the condenser for about five minutes. Uh, this was after I reapplied it. So now I'm just going to spray my soap and water mixture and that should be good for the condenser. Just start at the top. That way it rinses the solution down. As I said, these are no rinse solutions that I'm using. So this part isn't necessary, but we're not gonna be using our ACs more than likely until next week. So I'm just gonna rinse it off just because normally you would run your AC and it would rinse it off, but I'm just gonna rinse it off manually. And that should be good for the condenser. So now the chemical sat on the evaporator for about five minutes. As you can see, the bubbles have popped and whatnot. So, but it's still pretty nasty. So the cleaner that I got for the condenser came with this cap that has like a brush on the top. So for the other AC units, I've kind of scrubbed the fins a little bit. Uh, when you do that, obviously you want to make sure that you just go up and down and you don't want to push too hard either because you'll bend the fins, so. You can see all the nastiness that came off of it. Now, I'm just gonna spray it with my soap and water solution and call it good. That's why you put that rag there. <laughs> can see the difference between this side that I've cleaned off again you don't have to rinse this as you run your AC 
it will do what I'm doing right now because this this is what gets condensation all over it which is what drips all over the ground when you have your AC on so naturally the water will just clean this off as you run your AC so you don't have to do this part but as you can see the difference when you do it the last step before you put this cover back on is put your temperature sensor back in now with the last couple I tried putting it back in this hole that it was in but it just doesn't seem like it's in there very well I don't want it to fall out so I just put it in in between two new fins right next to it just shove it in there and then straighten out the fins that it was in so it doesn't fall out don't forget to put this sensor back in but just straighten those out and call it good as you can see there's still some loose dirt built up here might spray it a little bit just because I can see it now <laughs> that I'm recording but as you can see as it builds up and I'm being careful not to spray it down in there obviously if I run the AC a few times it'll clean that off so that's good for that while you have this cover off of your AC unit you want to make sure just check everything up here um, make sure everything's nice and free and you could put a drop I don't I'm not exactly sure what to use but put a drop I've seen people use three-in-one oil just put a couple drops right here where this bearing is and over here on this side same thing I've also heard people say to not use three-in-one oil to use like wheel bearing grease or something like that because the three-in-one oil will get sticky and collect dust so do your own research on what you what the kind of lubricant you should use to lube these seals and bearings right here once your evaporator is clean just pop this foam cover back on just pop right down in place make sure it's flush grab your cover screws and be careful using a power tool on these because the metal they go into is real thin and you'll strip them out real easy so be careful and that's it for that one So once everything up on your roof is good to go, the evaporator's clean, the condenser's clean, all that stuff, now it's time to take care of this. As you can see, it's definitely past time to do. So I'll show you how I clean our filter in our unit. In order to access the filter, you have to remove this cover right here, right here with all the holes in it. So you need a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, or some kind of flat prying device you just stick it in this little hole right here and twist and then same on the other side twist It'll pop free slide it out and there it is all right now we bring it over to the sink this is the filter you want to clean this little mesh this is a little different than some of them some of them are just like a foam filter but this one you just rinse it off, dry it off, and then put it back in. So we'll turn on the water, just kind of spray it off. It really works best if you spray it the other way, but at least get it wet. Just spray it off. like that 
Then we need to dry it off as best we can. I usually use like a paper towel or something. Blot it dry a little bit as best you can. Try to prevent as much water as possible from getting sucked up into your AC unit. Now that our cover and our filter are dry, we just put them back together. Just line these these grooves right here with these little notches in the cover and take it back there and to put it in the AC unit it's real easy just there are little there is a little track that it slides in right here on each side so get your cover of course this is easier when you have both hands free get your cover Set it up there. Once you got it up there, just slide it. It'll click in place, and that's done. There's not really a schedule we use for when we clean the inside filters. I mean, because you can see those, so when they get dirty, you clean them. I'd say, depending, obviously it depends how much you run your AC units, but I'd say we probably usually do it once a month or so. Sooner if we're running it, running them all day, every day maybe every couple weeks. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you like these videos, we also do travel videos. Make sure you check those out and subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, comment, helps the channel out, helps us in the whole YouTube algorithm <laughs> so we can keep making videos. So we'll catch you guys next week. But on our other two AC units. Please? You're gonna make me make more trips because you don't wanna. The aftermath of all the things on the roof. <laughs> Ugh, so okay. much. 134 things. And it doesn't help that. It's like 36 feet off the ground. <laughs> yeah, safety first. A little over a year now, and we've never done this. Um, Amelia, can you quit, please? <laughs>